Hello, this is Katie. Again, this is another card from the card fit, uh, card kit from uh, Valerie, Val by Design, sold by Scrap Mania. And I'll leave their information down below if you want to call them and order a kit. Uh, she said there were plenty left earlier when I called. That is the inside of the card. Again, I forgot about it. I don't do insides of cards, and so I forgot to go back in and color him. <laughs> so that's the only time you'll see that. I'm sorry. And I'm just putting it together. Um, in the photocopy uh, picture, the pictures of all the cards, um, I think doled them down a little bit because they're a lot brighter. Um, like the photocopy that I'll show you uh, at the end to compare it is uh, makes this yellow look not as bright. So if you see that, um, obviously you're seeing me making them. They are very bright cards and you can color them however you want. They do tell you which like Copics they used. Um, but, uh, you can, I'm going to use the tri blends again because I am loving them. So I just put the yellow, uh, lawn fun paper design. I don't know what that's called. I'm sorry. All the products are listed on the sheet that you get in case you want to buy any of the items. Um, I just put that down on the card base and then I did trim off uh, a little bit of excess card. That's what you saw me do. And then we're raising up this blue portion. This looks like their watercolor paper, um, which I love. Uh, raise that up on foam and put that down. And I really love this grass because it's cut with the scallop rectangle as well. So it matches up and it just makes it really easy to put that grass down. But I like how it makes it look. And it's really cute. So that'll be the grass. So we have grass and sky. And then with that part of the card done, I'm going to set that aside and we are going to color our bugs. And I've already pre-picked the tri-blend markers that I'll be using. And so I'm just getting everybody sorted and flipped over to make sure I've got all my pieces. And then I'm going to zoom in so you can watch me color. I'll be using the ice blue blend. And then I'm just showing you what the numbers are called. But I'm just using all three on the blend. Um, so this is my third video today. And I think on, I can't remember what video. On one of my other videos, someone had commented saying the link I had in my video about the tri-blends doesn't work anymore. So I tested that theory and it doesn't. It looks like they don't have the full set available anymore. I think I may have broken it if I sent too many people to go buy it. Um, I know for sure one person I know bought the whole set, but that's my aunt-in-law and I wanted her to have those. So I'm glad that she got it. But it looks like the link is broken now, which means they don't have... The whole set but I think you can still buy them in sections or at least in the individual tri-blend markers um, you just want to make sure that you have all of them um, you can still see that in my video I believe uh, the video that I go through when I show you the sides of the two boxes that I got because I got two boxes of 24 each instead of where I directed you to purchase them because that way would have been cheaper um, I spent more money than I should have the way I got them. But when I show you the sides of the boxes, it tells you all the names of the blends. So if you just want to pause on that screen as a reference and make sure if you're buying an individual markers um, that you buy all the right ones. You could even like take a screenshot, print that off and cross them off as you go. I think Joann's carries them. So if there's like a deal or a coupon, you can get them one at a time. Um, the website did have... They're $4.99 a piece, but it was buy two, get one free. So it was 10 bucks for three of them. And so that would have been like $3.33 each. Uh, so however you get them, if you want to use that as a reference at least, um, or you can just buy the tri-blends that you want. You don't have to buy the whole set. But I'm glad that somebody let me know that that link isn't working anymore. So sorry about that. Uh, they probably sold out of all of the bundles or decided that they were giving everyone too good of a deal. I don't know. Um, maybe I wrecked it by hyping them too much. I give myself too much credit. It probably had nothing to do with me. But I did make the video because I couldn't find any other videos talking about the whole collection. 
So I believe my video, unless you can prove me wrong, is the only one covering the whole collection of tri-blends, all 48 markers, uh, actually showing you the difference from the originals. And that's why I did it, uh, because I was frustrated. And so I did the research myself and made the video myself. Um, so maybe some people purchased it and didn't tell me they went and purchased it and that's why they ran out of them. I'm not sure. The Spectrum Noir and Crafters Companion websites have just always been kind of difficult to navigate. Um, and I'm not sure how responsive they are. I've kind of heard that they're not super responsive, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Um, but I do believe, I mean, you can buy these elsewhere. Dick Blick has them. If you have to buy them the way I did, I got my pink pack on Dick Blick. I got my orange pack on Amazon. You could buy the two sets of 24. It's just more expensive. Uh, probably a little less expensive than buying each marker one by one. Um, so if you need any help, just let me know. Comment below and I can try and help you sort it out since my other link is not working anymore. Um, so I'm just coloring in these branches, kind of how the, um, the sample had them. I'm just kind of shading wherever. I think I paused there for a second, um, but you probably didn't notice because I sped it up. And uh, I'm not being super, super specific with my shading, uh, but the blending usually comes out okay when I'm just kind of trying to give it a little bit of each color so the blend is there. So those are our two branches and then I um when I was deciding on the greens I was going to use between like the grasshoppers and the other green bug and the leaves I wanted to use my favorite green combo on um on the leaves so I used the alpine green and the sample had the dark just kind of at the base of the leaf and then the gradient faded out from there but I decided to put dark lines on the lines of the leaf as well and then just made sure I blended really good with the lightest green and I like how those turned out so I just color the rest of the leaves that way and I think I take a break to color some bugs before I finish my last leaf because I forgot it was there um, I'm really liking these card kits because they come together really cute and I don't even have to think about placement or coming up with the layout which I'm horrible at I would just copy someone else's card anyway because I'm just not creative that way I've probably in 10 years made five cards I designed myself that I liked if I tried to design one myself I usually don't like it and I got rid of it so I just stopped doing that everyone else is much better at this layout creativity portion than me and if I didn't copy other people's layouts or designs or you know ideas I probably <laughs> wouldn't make cards um if I ever totally copy someone and I will give them credit or tag them in my post as well um but I'm just not good at that part of it I can color I can copy things I'm very good at reproducing things and so this part is just kind of fun. It's all done for you. Everybody's stamped and cut out. And all you have to do is pick your colors. And if you follow the list they send you for this card kit, you don't even have to do that. If you have all the Copics that they chose, then you can just follow those guidelines or pick your own combos. Um, what I love about these markers is I don't even have to think about it. That's what's making these so easy is I just want to pick this muted brown blend and it's all in one marker and I don't have to think about it. So I will link down below, um, Scrap Mania is the store selling the kits, but Valerie is the one that made them, Val by Design. I'll link them both down below, um, but I'm just going to put the phone number down below for Scrap Mania, so you can call them and ask for the Lawn Fawn card kit by Valerie. And I paid $32 shipped to me for all five of these, and the kit came with, um, you'll be seeing it in a minute here when I am putting the card together. I use it to add the banner to the card, and I used it in, I think, my first video today. 
but they uh, give you a box with a whole reel of um, black foam squares. And so that comes with it as well. Um, that you can, I mean, you'll have a whole roll of foam squares for all your other card making. You don't use very much of them or very many of them when you're making these cards. So that's a little bonus. And then you can keep the ideas and the whole list of supplies if you want to make the cards again and buy the supplies and reproduce them again. I think I decided not to go over that one again because I just wanted to reemphasize that earth brown, the darker earth brown shades kind of blend a little too well. There's not enough of a gradient between the colors. And so um, I remembered that whenever I used it, I was going to go back over the dark section with the dark without possibly blending it out again so that the darker shade uh, would still show through. Um, so this is probably a little bit too close together, but I did an orange and a coral on this little butterfly. Um, I just wanted to give him a little coral body, but coral is like orange pink, so that's okay. He's cute anyway. So I colored all them, and then I think, yeah, I did get the last leaf. Okay, so we're going to put the card together, and I think I zoom in, in a little bit so just so you can see me doing it a little closer. I realize this is a little far away. I usually just zoom in for coloring so you can see what I'm doing. Whenever I see a card video and someone is coloring from far away, I just... It's just kind of annoying because I can't see what's going on or how you're blending things. So I always try and remember to zoom in when I'm doing any coloring. So I'm just looking at the page to the left where I set it uh, for the layout of this whole card. And I'm uh, uh, like probably off by, you know, millimeters. And so my layout will come out a teeny bit different, but hardly. And so... Uh, I'm just following the the pattern and making sure I lay down anything like branches first, then bugs, then leaves, etc., etc., so I don't put anything down in the wrong order. I really like the red, the red um, blend. It's the dark red blend, but that's what's on the ladybug, and I'm really loving that marker. So I had used it on a set of cards I made. I had just got the Lawn Fawn Smooth birthday. I don't know if that's what the set is called. It's the one with the blender and the smoothie stuff and the ice. I made a bunch of cards. I made like six cards because I stamped and colored and cut out six of everything that I wanted on the cards. And I did the strawberries and I colored the strawberries with this red too. And I really like that. So then we're adding the other little grasshopper cricket thingy, his little bouncing stream from him jumping over the worm. And then the butterfly, this is where I'm going to put, these are the foam squares that you get. And it says $6.99 on it, so that's a really good deal if it's coming in the kit included. So that was nice of them. To not assume that we just have foam squares at home, so I really like that. And then I put the little butterfly squiggle down first and then stuck the butterfly. So the butterfly on the other, the card sample, he doesn't overlap on the branch, but I kind of like how that turned out on mine. And then I'm just putting the leaves where they fit at this point. And the little banner at the end is going to cover the top right corner of the blue uh, re scallop rectangle. And then I'll also be doing some white accents. So, so on this, I'm going to take a foam square and cut it in half and it was actually still too much but what I do because they're very very sticky and I didn't want to have to cut it in half again because it was like sticking to my scissors I just cut a little bit off from the other side and just get rid of them that way and I ended up getting some on my nail so I have to clean that off <laughs> the, the black foam is very very sticky compared to like regular foam tape it must be made out of something different um, and then I'm putting glue on the middle so it's going to sit on the blue and then be raised up, touching the yellow background. So the foam tape is touching the yellow background, so it keeps it all level. And then the little bug goes on the end. And then there's two more leaves below the caterpillar. Let's call him a caterpillar. And then... Those are the last leaves, and then I'm going to be adding the white accents. 
And I will be smearing some white accents like normal because I can't keep my hands off the card. It's like I'm left-handed and I'm just smearing everything I'm writing, but that's not the case. It's just my white accents and I can't. It's this white accent right here. The bottom one on that leaf that ends up smearing. And I'm actively trying to keep my hands off of it and I still did it. So I'm going to end up coming back in with the marker and even then I accidentally use the dark end of the marker because <laughs> I smear this again. Don't get me wrong. I think I smear it twice. So then I come in with the marker and try and fix around it to make it look not so fat and wide and smeared. And um, once I'm done with all my other accents and I want to accent the branches as well. I'm not really sure accents make sense at this point. They're just kind of going everywhere. I think I smeared it again. I don't know. Anyway, so I grabbed the marker and then I accidentally used the dark one. So then I'm trying to blend it out with the light just to thin out the white line and then fix it. So there's that. Anyway, um, again, the phone number for Scrap Mania is down below. I get nothing from this. I just think I love this kit and I want you to have it. So if you want to call them and order it and it'll they'll ship it to you and it's awesome. And you'll probably see more cards um, later today. So thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.